And let's now take a closer look at the boiling point elevation caused by putting a non-volatile non solute in a solvent like water. So we know that the vapor pressure will be lowered. That means that the, the solution will then boil at a higher temperature. And that's what we're trying to figure out here. And here I have a chart that shows that as you're adding more and more solute to the solution, the boiling point of the solution keeps going up and up and up. And so there's a ratio, there's a slope to this line. And you can see that if you add one additional mole of solute to one kilogram of solvent, in this case the solvent is water, the boiling point of that will go up by about 0.5 degrees centigrade, 0.514 to be exact, or you can also call it 0.514 Kelvin. And then if you have two moles of solute added to the solution, then you find out that now the boiling point has gone up to 101.028. And if you add three moles of the solute to one kilogram of solvent, now the boiling point is 101.542 degrees centigrade. So what we're noticing is that for every one mole of solute added to the solvent, the boiling temperature rises by 0.514 Kelvin or by, by 0.514 centigrade degrees. So we now can put that together into a formula. So if we recognize the constant K sub B, which means the constant that indicates the increase in the boiling temperature by 0.514 Kelvin for every one kilogram of, of solvent and per mole of solute added. And so the equation then becomes the increase in the boiling temperature is equal to that constant times the ratio of the number of moles of solute added to number of kilograms of solvent added. And to help you understand a little bit, let's do a little example here. Let's say, for example, that we add, uh, let's say we add uh, four uh, moles of solute uh, to, let's say, 2.5 kilograms of water, what would now be the difference in the boiling temperature? How high would the boiling temperature be? Well, the difference, the change in the boiling temperature will be equal to the constant, which is always going to be 0.514 kilograms times Kelvin per mole, multiply times the ratio of the number of moles of solute, which in this case is four moles, divided by the number of kilograms of solvent, which is 2.5 kilograms of H2O, which is the solvent. And so notice that the kilograms cancel out, the moles cancel out, we're left with Kelvin, and so delta T, the te delta temperature is equal to, and where's my calculator here? So 0.514, oop, that's 0.514, multiply times 4 divided by 2.5 and we see an increase of 0.82 so it would be 0 0.82 uh, centigrade degrees or Kelvin degrees larger than the normal boiling point of 100 degrees centigrade so finally we can say that the boiling point T boiling is equal to 100 degrees centigrade plus the change in the temperature caused by adding solute to the solvent and so in this case T sub B would be equal to 100 degrees centigrade uh, plus the 0 0.82 uh, centigrade degrees or Kelvin and so this would be 100.82 degrees centigrade and that would be the new boiling temperature by adding that much solute to the solvent water and so that gives you kind of a feel for how we can calculate the increase in the boiling temperature it's fairly simple and remember the moles of solute divided by the uh, number of kilograms of solvent, that is a unit of molality, right? The number of moles per kilogram of solvent. So that's the molality of the solution. And that's how we figure that out.